Hey guys, this is Colby here with the uh, PlayStation 4 unboxing. It's uh, day one, midnight ish. Um, by the way, if you hear any cats in the background or in the foreground or if they jump up on the table, whoops, I have three cats, it just happens. Um, so yeah, here's the, uh, here's the box. It's the uh, PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 4, 500 gigabytes. Um, I also have some exclusive games here. I took advantage of that uh, Amazon deal in which you could get uh, three games. One of them would be free. And I would decided on uh, Killzone, Knack, and Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, who knows how the uh, online community for Call of Duty Ghosts is going to be, but I don't care that much. Um, so, here you go. Uh, a whole bunch of advertisements for games in the back. You have Infamous Second Son, Watch Dogs. I'm just pointing at stuff with a knife. Killzone, Assassin's Creed 4, and Knack. So let's let's cut into this thing. Get a cool PlayStation tape on it, which, as we all know, is a real signifier for quality. So whether you have your own branded tape. Ooh, look at that! That just that just looks nice, doesn't it? Um, here's an important piece of information in here inside the uh, special offers. Uh, right here, you get ten dollars to spend inside the PSN store. Just just ten bucks, ten dollars for free. Caddy's very excited. Um, you can also there's also a uh, thirty free days of PlayStation Plus here and a thirty free day trial of Music Unlimited. Um, so be sure to keep these and redeem these right whenever you get it. You are gonna have to be excited about that later. Um, you have the Quick Start Guide, which whatever I don't need that. Um, here's the PlayStation Four controller. This is uh, let me tell you, this thing feels. Like, the PlayStation 3 controller, for me, felt like a, uh, a step back from PlayStation 2, because PlayStation 2 felt really good. PlayStation 3 had those weird triggers in the back where your fingers kept on slipping off, and it was weird. Anyway, this controller, though, I mean, the, the triggers, because they've got that, uh, that kind of slanted... Caddy, you cannot be mad about this. Um, they, you get that kind of slanted groove up here. Um, it, it, it sits in your finger real nice. So, you can see the front is... Take off this tape. Ah, it's such a good feeling to just unbox something nice. Um, it, it's it's wider than a, a typical PlayStation 3 controller. Um, you know, it's it's got uh, the share and option buttons now, as you can see here. It's got the uh, touchpad as well. This is a touchpad. You can it's got touch input. It's also a button, uh, PlayStation button, microphone, the uh, light on the top. You can see that it's trying to sync to a console, um, but it can't because it's there. Um, there's a headphone jack, I, and I guess what, an extension port, same thing for uh, PlayStation uh, Portable, and maybe Vita, I don't know if the Vita has one. Um, and you got the, uh, the USB cable here in the back, so, um, I mean, this thing sits really nice in your hand. Um, it, just, it just feels really good, it's comfy. Um, a lot of gamers really wanted to have the, the thumbstick up here, but I mean, this feels just fine. And um, one of the best features of being able to do this um, on a lot of typical consoles, I mean, it, that seems like it's not a really big deal, but I dare you to try to pick up your PlayStation 3 controller and do that and not have your thumbs hit each other. Um, I can't tell you the amount of time, because it's not, it's not a really big deal, but there are occasions in which you try to do that and you're like, oh right, I gotta fumble around and reposition this. And Anyway, this is just, it's a really nice design, it's an upgrade over, um, over the PlayStation 3 controller. Um, it still also has motion in it. Uh, motion and rumble, which uh, if you remember from the uh, beginning of the generation of PlayStation 3 would be quote-unquote impossible. Um, they eventually figured that out. Looks like uh, they also include a nice little set of earbuds here. I got a... Um, oh, no, is this a, uh, is this a headset? Maybe a headset. Um, probably should have read that quick start guide, huh? Um, yeah, well, I mean, it's only got the one earbud. Yeah, it's definitely a headset. So it's got a uh, it's got a headset. You plug that right into the uh, into the controller. Go ahead and just snap that in there. Bam! What's this? All of a sudden, I'm communicating, talking trash on Call of Duty Ghosts with all five people that are going to play with me tonight. Um, so there's that. Uh, it comes bundled um, with the power cable, which is just super great. Uh, so you can turn it on. Um, obviously, very. Um, very nice of them. Uh, it comes with the USB cable uh, for charging because uh, nobody has these cables. I mean, it, your cell phone, it fits a standard cell phone. I've got a Samsung Galaxy S3 right here. Just, I mean, it'll, it'll plug in and bam, you can use that for your cell phone if you're really um, jonesing for another one of these. But 
so that's uh, they're going with USB micro as the uh, standard for that. And it also comes with an HDMI cable. Um, I mean, these things are super cheap. If as long as you know that you don't have to purchase the you know fifty dollar gold tipped two point eight gigahertz throughput HDMI cable, you again you can you can play later. You can you can play here here. Say hello to everybody. Tell everybody you're sorry. Okay, you're not sorry, are you? Great. Great. Okay, so now it's down to the big one. It's down to this guy right here. The, Jesus, it's heavy. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that for some reason. Um, the PlayStation 4 itself. There it is. Um, for scale, here's my hand. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. For scale, here's my Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, so, it's like, uh, I don't know. Two Samsung Galaxy S3s tall and three Samsung Galaxy S3s wide, which is good dimensions for. Yeah. So I take this off. So I, I like I like the design here. It's got the uh, the sleek uh, the, the sleek plastic up here uh, and the and the matte plastic down here. Uh, it's got the uh, the disc drive just like on a PlayStation 3 um, is you know insert and it'll it'll it's a disc feed system. You got the uh, power button right here in the uh, in the middle, um, and eject as well. Um, I'm guessing these are not actually buttons; they're just you know uh, feedback capacitive touch buttons. Uh, you have the two USB ports up there. Um, back here, you got a boatload of uh, fan output, a uh, place to put the power cord. You've got a uh, optical out, HDMI out, um, Ethernet and auxiliary, whatever auxiliary is. Oh, probably for the PlayStation I. I didn't like to get that because uh, why would you? So yeah, that, that basically covers it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing plugged up. From what I understand, they did not include HDCP on this bad boy. So that means that I can go ahead and start taking gameplay videos tonight. Um, you'll start to see some of that stuff pop up later on. And um, you know, keep watching for, for more information on this. Uh, I'm sure I'll be putting up some kill zones, some knacks, some Call of Duty Ghosts, maybe some montage of all three of them. Um, but yeah, this is the next generation. This is gonna go have a very prominent place in my living room, which is about, I don't know, four feet that way. So I will see you guys later. Take care.